The Art of Peace, a book written by Moria Yoshiba, discusses opportunities to be victorious and resolve conflicts using tactics without the use of violence. Inspiring to those who wish to learn the true way of the warrior, the teachings of Moria Yoshiba has caused people to become more passionate, wise, and loving. Known as the founder of the martial arts style Aikido, it showed users how to defend themselves while also avoiding harm to the attacker. In fact, the morals of Aikido are heavily connected to the art of peace, which is a short combination of poems, quotes, and speeches by Moria Yoshiba. Today I will be reviewing the art of peace's message and morales in its simplicity. First of all, the art of peace is a great influence on humanity. As a matter of fact, it is inspiring to those who wish to live their lives in a passive and calm course. It can help those along the path by mediating anger issues, sadness, and unresolved emotional problems. A quote taken from the book that I particularly like summarizes this perfectly. It states, The art of peace begins with you. Work on yourself and your appointed task in the art of peace. Everyone has a spirit that can be refined, a body that can be trained in some manner, a suitable path to follow. You are here for no other purpose than to realize your inner divinity and manifest your innate enlightenment. Foster peace in your own life and then apply the art to all that you encounter. Really, it shows that everyone makes mistakes, but with training you can accomplish inner peace within yourself and your space. In addition, it displays that if you equally discipline your spirit and your body, it provides proper balance within yourself. Besides the great influence the art of peace causes, it's also very easy to read. In fact, it can be really helpful for when you're having a bad day. For example, when I'm personally having an unpleasant day, I have flipped through the pages for courage and persistence. Honestly, it's really helped me keep a pleasant mindset even through the tough days. Also, it's not overwhelming at all. For one thing, it's a very light read, only consisting of 126 pages while also being a pocketbook. It starts with an introduction, then leads into quotes by the author, and ends with sources and other pocketbook recommendations. Ultimately, very easy to carry with you during your day-to-day -day schedule and simple to bookmark your favorite inspiring quotations by the author. To conclude the review of The Art of Peace, I enjoy its straightforward and uncomplicated style of writing, the convenience it provides, and guidance it displays with your everyday life. Fortunately, it's very easy to learn as long as you are open-minded and willing to change. I really would recommend this book to anyone because I believe you can learn something from it even if you don't agree with every view the author holds. To close the review, I'll end with a quote by Moria Yoshiba. The art of peace is not easy, it is a fight to the finish, the slaying of evil desires and all falsehood within. On occasion, the voice of peace resounds like thunder, jolting human beings out of their stupor. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's book review on The Art of Peace. I know it's not spooky at all, but I thought that this book could help people, so I wanted to recommend it on my platform. Next video, we will be back to all the spookiness, and I hope you enjoy it. Anyways, thanks for listening again, and hope you all have a good day.